Hello. Due to the design of the bilges on this boat, it is impossible to automatically remove all the water from the bilges with a standard bilge pump. I found a website where someone created their own dry bilge system. It works similar to commercial units. I will post a link to this website below in the description as well as the uh, major components I use to uh, do this project. I started with a box 12 volt programmable timer and a C-Flow 12 volt water pressure diaphragm pump. This pump can run dry without damage which makes it perfect for this type of project. All right, I'm going to install this box on the bulkhead in the forward uh, bilge. Um, I'm going to uh, route the discharge line into the uh, forward shower sump. Uh, since the system doesn't remove a larger quantity of water at one time, it should be no issue for the sump handling uh, the, the water that output. And it only runs for 15 minutes a day. Uh, so there should be no issues at all. My apologies on the poor lighting. I've got lights and uh, we'll use them in future videos. So this is how the, uh, the system runs and I'm not happy with the suction. I had two lines running back from the two pickups and one is pumping better than the other one. The other one just seems to get a uh, uh, vapor lock. Um, so I changed the pickups so that uh, there's one line and then they tee off and they're equal distance. So the pickups are built with um, a nylon fitting with a quarter inch barbed 3 eighths inch uh, national pipe thread. And I drilled small holes on four sides of the, uh, the fitting then this fitting is going to be mounted in the center of one of these uh, wall plates. I used a uh, black, a little rubber grommet to hold it in place and then some stainless steel sheet metal screws that will affix the, the sponge uh, to the back of the plate. Um, I did cut out a little area in the center of the sponge to uh, allow for the uh, NPT side of that fitting to go into the sponge. I tried not to cut all the way through the sponge. So, and this is kind of how this is installed. I've already cut out the center. So I just take the screws, the sheet metal screws and little force, push them in there and they grab onto the sponge and then push it firmly against the back plate. So this is the first time I've replaced these sponges. Uh, in this video here, this has been running for six months. For the most part, this build is dry now. And it's functioned exactly how I expected. I am going to push this a little bit farther forward. There is a little water uh, on the build in the bilge uh, that hasn't been picked up by this, so hopefully this will get a little further forward and get 100% of it. So here's the final install, and we've got the box and power. It's 12 volts. There's the uh, the intake line coming from the pickups, and the little 12 volt timer. And you can see the discharge line running there. Okay, and now we can look down on the bilge, and you can see the one side's perfectly dry and the other side's got a little bit of moisture there a little bit of a little bit of fluid there um, all right that's my DIY dry bilge thank you for watching